I found a wonderful site on Facebook called Quilt Along. And the owner of this site, of this Facebook page, walks us through some mystery quilts. And I thought I'd let you guys join me on the journey. I found a wonderful site on Facebook called Quilt Along. Just Q U I L T hyphen A hyphen long. So Quilt Along and the owner of this site, of this Facebook page, walks us through some mystery quilts. And I thought I'd let you guys join me on the journey. I'm a little behind, but if you wanted to join along, all you have to do is find Quilt Along on Facebook. And she will give the fabric requirements and the clues to it. So there is clue number one. And I just printed, I just, you know, saved it and printed that out. Got my fabric requirements from a previous post and then I am ready to go. And here are my requirements for this mystery quilt. And she gave me the yardage that we needed. There's my dark, my medium dark, my medium, my medium light, my light, and then my accent. And in the instructions, it says that the accent fabric will, re will be referred to as black. So I um, guess I wasn't thinking real clearly when I chose black as all my colors. So first thing I want to do is look at my instructions and my instructions say I want to cut two and a half inch strips from the light fabric the medium light and the black which is the accent so I've got my accent my light my medium light and I need to cut two and a half inch strips and I will end up making, it says, 18 four patches. And then repeat the steps for 18 more four patches. So, let's go and press. Remember, pressing and ironing are two different things. Uh, so we're going to go press this fabric. And then we'll bring it back to the cutting board, cut out my strips, and then we'll head to the sewing machine. Alright, so I've done some pressing. By the way, I want to just mention... That I bought this fabric at Joann's when they had their quilter showcase for $2.99. Of course, right after I bought it at $2.99, the next week was on sale for $1.99. But that's all right. I'm still very pleased with it. Uh, not all of it came from the quilter showcase selection, but most of it. So that made it uh, not too bad. If you do not have one of these rulers, I love mine. Uh, got it from Joann's. They had a good percentage off sale, uh, and a lot of, so watch for when they have their Fiskars items, like a 60% off, or watch for a 60% off, or a 50% off coupon, and you can get these at a fairly reasonable rate. Uh, when your blade gets dull, all you have to do is put in another rotary blade. So this is how I'm going to do it. So I'm just going to go through and cut and even up my itch. I think it might be time for me to replace that blade, but that's okay. So get rid of the uneven. Now all I have to do is just a two and a half inch strip. So that would be two inches. That's two and a quarter. That's two and a half. So I'm going to line the two and a half inch line along the edge of the fabric. And just press down. And go through it again. And she says I need two of the medium light. Well, there's my two. We're going to set that aside. And our quilt along lady says we need to have two strips of our light fabric. Again, I'm going to match up my folded edges. And then I'm going to straighten that up. Now I 
I need to have two two and a half inch strips of my light fabric. So I'm get my two and a half inch mark. Oh, don't let it slide. And we're going to set the light aside. Move this up for the next instead of instructions. And what we do when you're part of the quilt alongs, a lot of times you will post up pictures of your progress. And I thought instead of posting up pictures of my progress, I would post up a video. And that way, if anybody has better ideas of how to do things, they can always tell me. All right, and this is my accent, or black, as it's being referred to in the instructions. Again, I like to even things up. Now, she says I need to have four two and a half inch strips from the black fabric or the accent fabric. So here's the first two. I'm at the two and a half inch mark on my ruler. Okay, there's two. And now to do two more. <clears throat> two and a half right up against the line of the fabric. All right, now we'll kind of clear up our work area. Set all that aside. Now the instructions now say to sew two stripes Two strip sets of light and black, press the seams towards the black. So light and accent. And then we'll also do that with the medium light with the accent. So once again, we're going to press down these folds nice and straight. And then we'll, uh, I'm a pinner, and I will pin these together. And then we'll take it to the sewing machine. First step, we're almost there. All right, so I have got my accent with my light, my accent, two strips of the accent with the light, and then I have two strips of the accent with the medium. And I am sort of an assembly line. So I've gone ahead and cut those. I read through all the instructions first. I want a good, nice quarter inch seam, so I like to use the piecing stitch. Okay. And that way, by doing it this way, if I match it right along the edge, bring that down, I have got a beautiful corner inch seam. Okay, see where my needle is, see where the edge of the fabric is. So I like the piecing stitch. You can use a piecing foot. I have one of those and I love it. But we're just going to go straight through and we're just going to stitch this down. So here we go. I'm a pinner. A lot of people, they don't pin when they're doing something like this, but I do. I have my speed at about a medium speed. And I go too fast when I make mistakes. new 
to sewing, this is probably a great way to learn. Pace yourself. It's pretty simple. One down, three more to go. So let's set this one aside, pick up the next one. and do my accent with my medium. Like I said, this way I can do my pressing and everything that needs to be done all at the same time. Before we head back over to the ironing board. Now there are other ways of doing a four patch. But I decided I wanted to follow her instructions to the letter. So just in case anyone's following along with her and with me, you can see that how we do it, especially if you're new to sewing. So you're going to see that this is easy. It's fun. I think so. Sorry, I take strips of fabric and I make things out of them. That is a superpower. I didn't think I'd like mystery quilts. Myasthenia gravis, which is a, a fatigability disorder. Um, it's not fun, but it's there. Doing a mystery quilt, the way they do it, they give you the clues about every 10 days. So that gives me plenty of time, and it's okay if I get behind. It's a wonderful stress relief for me. Doing this this way, I'm following along with other people. I get ideas of color combinations. We all get to ooh and awe at each other, which is always kind of nice. We all like to be complimented, and everyone on this quilt alongside is so kind and so sweet. And there we go. And now we are off to the ironing board. I want to show you real quick though on uh, your seam allowance. So right there is my seam and it's a quarter of an inch. Hopefully you can see that. There it is right there. So there's my seam and there's the edge of my fabric. Quarter inch. Now let's go over and press this down and we're going to press it down to the dark side. So I've got my accent in light, my accent in medium light, and let's see what else we're supposed to do. So we're supposed to cut 36 two and a half inch strip units. Alright, so now we've got our units, and we're going to do a four patch. Okay, and because we pressed it to the dark side, we can just nestle it beautifully right in there. Okay, so if you see in there, I've got the seams are just nestled in together very nicely. Make 
make sure I haven't moved it. And I wish I could feel this because it, it's flat when you've got it just right. And now we're ready to sew it down. Okay, got another one. And again, just nestle it in there. I would go through and do all this with all of them. And of course, following the instructions, I need to have a certain number. Otherwise, I'll come up short and have to do this step again. And I don't like having to repeat my steps. That's why I like assembly line. All right, so I've got my light and my accent, or my light and my black. And I'm gonna go do a quarter inch seam to make my four patch. Right, so we're going to bring it over to the machine. Again, uh, where I've turned it off, I need to turn it back on, and I need to find my piecing stitch so that I am at a beautiful quarter-inch seam. Nice and even. We're just going to set it in there. Notice how the edge of the fabric is right at the edge of the foot. And I'm going to come forward a little bit, come backward to set the stitch. And then stitch it on down. And you can knot it now if you want to, or you can just keep on going. And I will do that sometimes. done up. Take my pin out and we should have a really nice four patch. But now all I need to do, I need to press it and then I need to measure it out. Kind of even it up to make sure it is a two and a half inches or two inches on each side. So let's press that and then let's measure them up. So I have pressed open all of my squares, and hopefully I've got a couple extra um, to throw in my scrap bucket so I can choose the best ones. But now what I want to do is square these up so that they're all the right size. So I'm going to take one here, it should be two and a quarter inches from the center. So I'm going to put two and a quarter right there, pretty good there. That's pretty good there. Oh, just a little bit. So let's trim that. Just a little. This one, so I've got my two and a quarter inches right down that center seam. So there were two and a half inch blocks put together, a quarter inch seam off of each. So that's five inches minus a quarter and a quarter. <clears throat> that one's good. And we've got a lovely four patch ready to go. 
Now all I need to do is finish squaring the rest of these up and then I will be ready for clue number two.